Avenue West. Take second exit to South Avenue West. Take second exit to South Avenue West. Look at this one. No, I'm supposed to. Oh, you are supposed to yield. Okay. I didn't notice the yield sign. Once you're in the circle, the cars coming into the circle have to yield for you. Yeah, he was just driving very confidently. Like, I like, I'm not stopping at all. So I was just wondering. Um, we're headed to uh, Family. Right, 1.9 miles to address 239. It is Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Um, this market is more of an... It's, uh, they're, they're billing it as more of an antique market. Um, we're about four or so minutes away. Uh, it's, it's set up in a parking lot in the town of Famwood, and it's a parking lot for the for the train station, yeah. Uh, we've wow. Done, what did no, you see? We have a big no-parking sign driveway. I, there must be somebody parking in their driveway all the time and it's like can't you read the sign remember I went to that lady's house and I touched the painting and she's like didn't you read the sign and it was a teeny little painting I mean sign make that and I was like yeah I didn't see well, it's it it's not a sign you expect to see in somebody's house exactly it's a sign you expect to see I literally like who the hell's going in her house and touching her painting all the time you know didn't you see the sign and I'm like no I didn't see the sign and she's like how could you not see the sign I said I didn't see the sign and then she went to her husband did you see the sign he touched he didn't pay attention to the sign he touched the painting yeah I told her I said listen now that I know about how you feel when it comes to your painting being touched I will respect your wishes and not touch your painting I was like did you ever hear from them no yeah I know I know um no, There's I know. something not right going on there. Uh, they just let them, let somebody else would deal with them. We're talking about like we we're gonna do um, run a, a house sale for someone. They were, they were just like too wacko, you know. Everybody was immediately like, I don't even want to do it. <laughs> but um, yeah. So this one's built more as an antique market. They have like three kinds of markets here. They have the street fair, they have the antique market, and they have um, a regular flea market. So we've already done the regular flea market, so now we're doing the antique one. Street fair, I'm not, I don't even, I'm not interested in. Because it's, it's just harder to set up, the space is smaller. I've done it, just, you know, it's not really for me, I don't have the right stuff. Um, but we're not even that far away, we're like a few minutes away now, right? Just really close. Um, I guess I'll just show the parking lot when we get there. Oh, there's a guy on a bike. Yes, yeah, very interesting. You know, we always, I always say when we're in Florida, whenever we see somebody riding a bike, what would we say? They probably lost their license. They got too many DUIs or something like that. But it's not. Or they can't sure, afford it. You know, a lot of people just, gas is expensive. Uh, it's, it's cheaper to have a bike. Yeah, and a lot of people there were on a fixed budget, remember? Yeah. You know, it's like, how much is this? I'm on a fixed budget. <laughs> money. It's like, well, what are you doing? Why are you buying this stupid thing if you're on a fixed budget? You should be buying stuff that you need and paying your rent, you know. But we think a lot of people were, like, reselling, uh, obviously, at the flea markets. It makes sense. Uh, we're closer now. The The thing about this town on Sundays is all the food places close. That was weird. There's, like, Dunkin' Donuts stays open. See, we're really close now. The bagel place closes at, like, 11 or something. The only place that stood open was a pizza place. Now, well, here it is. There's the family train station. I know where we're going to park, so I'll just, we're pulling in, vendor checking, as you can see, so I'm going to turn this off right now. It's a little after six. I'm in this spot today. I have like a full parking lot, but I can, I also can go deep. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do my space just yet, you know, um, but we shall see. There's going to be people uh, next to me, and then uh, crafts are going to be on that side, and I guess us antiquers. Or um, items of more uh, aged interest will be on this side. Uh, all right, I'm I'm just taking stuff out of the car now, so I'm gonna keep doing that. I might as well just walk around, mark a little bit. Uh, I'm just going. Actually, I'm just going on the crafter side because I walked around the other side a few times, and I've already seen what there was I wanted to see. I'm just walk, I'll just walk down. Just make sure there's nothing on this side that I want to buy. Yeah. I don't think there will be. I'll walk down this road. And the other was pretty much the same thing. 
I'm not really looking at tables because I don't have a lot of time. I'm just setting up. And if it if the stuff isn't for me, it isn't for me. All right, that was one row. Turn this off. Are setting up. So I figured I'd just walk down this other row. I uh, had a, a little bit of a gap where there was nothing to look at. So right here. Yeah, I'm just. Oh, uh, Latin Bites is here. Uh, nice southwestern jewelry. And uh, this is more craft. Yeah, so it's all, this is resin stuff. Yeah, this is an antique craft show, so. All right, let me just head back to my spot. All right, so far this is Marie's pickup. 55 total spent. This is a locket. And you believe it's Victorian? Guys, Ellen, he wants a price. Um, Marie said this is called Book Chain, and this is Victorian. These are actually some pretty cool Christmas uh, pins, a wreath and a tree. What do they call that? Uh, do they have a name for this? Watermelons, whatever. Uh, watermelon Ravioli. Watermelon Ravioli. People actually collect that. This is a pretty cool... Oh, it's actually signed. Regency. Regency. I just like the colors. He had other it's ones nice. too, but I like the colors of those. If you like that one, you like, like that one. Pink. And also I have matching earrings. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess it's just a Murano, huh? Like a vintage one? I think so. I'm not sure if it's Murano or Czech glass. I think it's Murano because there's some gold in a couple of the beads, like a gold uh He's a Murano for sure. No, those might be Czech. You think so? Okay. All right. And this, you said, is... It could be rock crystal. I'm not sure. Too much to say, but either way, it's it's definitely it's a nice. It's on chain. It's probably from the thirties. How are you gonna test? How do you test? You look for I bubbles. Yeah, yeah right. if it's glass, it's got bubbles in it. Okay. All right. Um, we're, I'm still putting stuff out, so I'll show my space in a bit. This is actually another piece of jewelry that Marie got. Let me see if I can put it somewhere where you can really see it. Yeah. Yeah. See where it stands out. Do it over here. It's really nice. I'm not sure. I think this might be a fossil. You paid 20 for this. Pretty good. I don't know if it's tribal or whatever, but it's still nice. She thinks she'd probably sell it. Uh, probably online, but. All right. Uh, we have a little so I'll fill my space. Uh, some of it didn't make it out. Some of it, I don't know. I can probably condense down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, this is Matt's stuff today. Um, this is more of an antique market. I, I put out the DVDs. I wasn't going to, but people were like seeing. But I had DVDs and started to look through them. So I said, well, they made a mess. I might as well just put them out. And then I'll neaten them up later. Those are plushies, but they're vintage ones. So I put them out anyway. I sold some dinosaurs. Uh, I sold something over there. I don't even remember. Uh, here's my, uh, what I did was I just took five tables. I just kind of put them all together to make this shape rectangular-ish. Um, here's stuff I share with AJ, actually. But I haven't sold any of that yet. So far, AJ, uh, you made two bucks. Nice, right? Just random stuff. Decorative. Bowls. More bowls. Uh, I'm being negotiable today because I want to go home a little bit lighter. Uh, here's my other tables. Batman, na, 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 and then some Star Wars stuff. I, saw, I actually sold some of these Pokemon cards, believe it or not, these sheets. I've been selling them um, $5 for a double sheet. Hello. Um, buy, buy four, get one free. Uh, Gameage. Uh, more decorative. Somebody might come for these bowls. That'd be nice. Uh, got a few steins left. Remember we had a lot of steins? And you're like, nope, it's gonna buy any of those steins. And then we sold all of them except for these. <laughs> I still hate steins. Yeah, and believe me, I don't love them either, but uh, I have some at the store that are worth like maybe 75, 100. 
I would list those maybe because <laughs> I'm not gonna get that at a flea. At... That's what you're supposed to be doing at the store. Oh my god! No, I do ever. I'm, I'm always. I'm doing something everywhere. Marie says I should work harder than I already do. What, do you want a medal? No, I just. I don't want to work harder. I'm already working hard. All right. Uh, that's the game stuff. So that's my space. Just a quick pan out of the market. Uh oh, Marie found something. No, it's not keys. This glasses, Marie bought two of them today and they're a mystery, so she's doing research. She th what do you think they're actually worth? Like maybe 35 or 40 a piece, something like that. She spent, um, well, anyway, uh, it's, it's a company called Ajka Crystal. It's Hungarian. It's Hungarian. And uh, I can't find this pattern. But she likes it. Uh, Four dollars fee for ten on records. Okay. So anyway, if if we crack the mystery, if she figures out who makes these glasses. Uh, she'll post them, and we paid twenty for them, so like ten a piece. Sure are pretty. Hopefully they're worth more than ten. Okay, we have a lull because it started raining, uh, but I think it's already stopped, even though there's clouds in the sky. I covered everything up. I am going to just during this this very short lull. I hope of rain, Nina. Uh, I'm going to just show the only thing that I really bought today, and but I'm pretty happy with them. A friend of mine said, "Hey, I brought these. I thought you would like them." Uh, he gave them to me for ten bucks a piece. To be honest, I don't really know what they're worth. Um, I'll find out later, and then I'll decide what to do with them. I kind of want them a little bit for the store. And then uh, if they don't sell, I might put them online. I'm ho I'm hoping people are just interested in them at the store. So here they are anyway. Crazy Climber, uh, made by Taito, dated 1981. These are called, these are like arcade uh, toppers. Uh, you would put these on top of, or these were part of like arcade machines that you would go like. This one's made of a heavier plastic. Um, these will actually chip and, and crack. But these were well taken care of, so which is I'm really happy about. Wizard of War by Midway. Uh, let's see. I don't see a date on that one. A Billy Company. Oh, there it is. 1981. Okay, Midway. All right, so maybe these are all from 1981. You can see the paint on these are just on the back. So they do crack and break. Okay, um... This one's definitely glass. It's much heavier than the other ones. And you can see, this is what I'm talking about, how paint will peel and disappear and whatever. This one's in pretty good shape. Um, Junior Pac-Man. You know what? I don't know if I've ever played Junior Pac-Man. I played Mr. Well, they don't go Mr. They just Pac-Man and Mrs. Pac-Man. I am not familiar with Junior Pac-Man. There's the codes on that there. And here's the date. Of course, this one is Latin. M-C-M-X... Okay, M is a thousand, C is nineteen, because it's a hundred less than a thousand. L is fifty. Nineteen eighty-three, if I am correct. Uh, all my Latin friends out there, if you can tell me uh, if I nailed it on that, I, I think I did pretty good. Then the last one is this one's lucite. So only one of them was glass, and you could t I can tell by the weight that one is heavy. Uh, Sega Star Trek Strategic Operations Simulator TM I don't see wait a minute there it is In, indicates the trademark of Paramount Pictures Corporation 1983 so these are all from 1981 1983 I never see these uh, anymore I mean they're not they're not the most popular games in the world uh, some of them I ne I've never played I'm not really familiar with them at all but still it's a pretty cool find uh, anyway, let me get back to work. Bye. All right, so we're heading home. I figure out just any interesting stories, anything interesting happened today, anything exciting. No. <laughs> no, right? It was like a boring day at the flea market. Nobody was like being a nut or whatever. Uh, ooh, we almost went the wrong way. Well, because the stupid GPS is telling me to stay right. Ah. But it's not right. Yeah. It's next right. Right. I mean left. Yeah, next GPS left. is annoying. No, but um, 
our biggest sale was that chair. Yeah. But to be honest, I'm glad to be rid of it because yeah, we've had that for like. Room and we're gonna end up breaking it. Well, how long did we have that? Not long. Not three months. Oh well. No, we got that. It's been a while. Because it's been, I've been, I know I've been moving it from. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's sold. Yeah, it's gone now. It's that Adirondack. No, it's not Adirondack. You, who told me no, it was an Adirondack? It's, a, it's like a bent wood. Like yeah, a, bent like wood a twig. twig. Yeah. yeah. A twig. So heavy. what's an Adirondack chair then? That's a different. That's like, I have to show it to you. Okay, just show it to me later. <laughs> we can't explain it. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Nobody was really rude today, and everybody's kind of nice. No, everybody was pretty. I sold yeah. some of the stuff that I bought yesterday. I bought, I bought, I sold those two um, copper uh, ch brass. chipetti. Yeah, did I keep saying copper keep brass? Saying copper. Yeah, the brass. Like what are they? Chipetti, chipotti bread. That's what they were. They were for chipotti bread. If I'm saying it correct. And I sold that that fake painting and some other random stuff. I don't know, I guess it was boring, right? Uh, yeah, it kind of was. You know? All right. All right, I guess I figured I was wondering if like, anything interesting no, happened. No, there were no characters or anything. No, not really. The people down there are pretty mellow. Yeah, I guess. All right, I guess I'll end the video. That was today. Bye.